Now, Chev, what happened? Why did you not pay any more of the money which you owed James? I lost my job. Right, so you immediately went to James and said, I can't afford this loan anymore. Can we come to a different financial arrangement? Yeah. Did you say that to you? Yes. George. Were you prepared to accept that? Yes, Judge. On the basis that he would pay me the money. Some? Yeah. So, had he shown willing and perhaps said to you, look, James, I've lost my job, I've got into some difficult times, here's £20, £30, let's come to a different arrangement, you wouldn't have bought this case, correct? Yes, Judge. Again, that's important. Now, Cher, that's not entirely what you say to me in reply. Had it just been that, this matter would be over in less than three seconds. It would be purely technical. Do you understand? Yes, Judge. It wouldn't last very long. Be premature ruling. Now, the question I have, Chef, very simply is this. You say in your reply that the car is damaged, Chef. What happened to the car? Where is it now? A friend of mine borrowed it. Let's pause. <coughs> he purchased it. Did you change the ownership documents to be so that it's in your name? No, sir. No, Judge. No, as of yet, no, Judge. I like to collect little stories for people at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you pay this money, you can't yet drive. You've no idea when you pass your test. Have you taken your test? No, not yet. Not yet. You haven't booked it at the time. You buy a depreciating asset, that means it's going to reduce in value, correct? Yes, sir. The ownership documents are not yet in your name, but one thing you <clears> definitely <throat> did, for sure, was insure it. Yes? No, Judge. And the reason for that, again, was that the car was off the road. Yes, Judge. Do you know that it's a criminal offence not to insure a vehicle when it's on the road? Yes, Judge. Did you lend this car to somebody else? Yes, Judge. Were you satisfied that they were insured to drive this vehicle? He told me it was, yes. What happened? He ended up crashing into a wall. Is he injured? No. Well, What's much. the problem? What's the outcome in respect of the car? Written off. Written off? Yeah. Now, in reply, you say, I don't owe James any money because I lent the car to a friend. I haven't got the car anymore. Yeah. So how can I owe money for a loan, for a thing, which no longer exists? Would you like to make that submission to me? Pardon? Would you like to say that? Is that your legal case? Yes, for... I, I have not got a car at this time. I haven't really got to drive it. And so why should I be paying for something that someone else has damaged? Somebody else use. damaged the car. I haven't got it anymore. Not my fault. And just between you and me, just imagine we're friends for a moment, Shell. Never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of one being Judge Rinder, and ten being stupid. <laughs> Where would you place your submission on that scale? Ten, Judge. Ten. Ten. Very good. Anything you'd like to say, James? I'd like to say... No, very no. good. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to learn something from your day in court? Yes, Judge. Very good. James, you entered into agreement with Chev. It was entirely his prerogative <coughs> to enter into that agreement. You extended him interest-free credit on a car. Now, you made a small profit from that, as is your right. It wasn't necessarily the most friendly thing to do, but you're entitled to do it. Yes, he paid you £350. You clearly had an agreement with him that he would pay the rest at a rate which was agreed. He stopped paying you in circumstances where he lost his job, as you say to me. Had he attempted to make a different arrangement with you, you would have probably agreed to receive lesser amounts. He never tried to do that. Yes, Instead, he says, because somebody else has crashed that car and he could no longer enjoy it, you aren't entitled to the money. I have no words in response to that, save to say it begins in stew and ends in pid. This court awards you the rest of the value for the car, £650. That's an expensive lesson. Let me tell you, had the person who took your vehicle injured himself, it could have been a lot more costly. It's the award of this court, £650. For more Judge Rinder cases, click here. And if you've got a legal issue yourself, get in touch with us by clicking over here.